Is it National Rum Day? It, uh, yes. I don't, is it? I don't usually believe in these like national holidays, but. But is it national or is it international? Or is it like, is it Rum Day or is it like Dak Gree Day? Is it Mai Tai? International Day of Mai Tai? It could be, I don't know. I know that it's, it, I mean, it's going to be because you're here. It's rum day here in the studio. See, that's what I like. I like I like the idea that I just move around and, yeah. it, and it's an axis that just rotates around me. It's always rum day. It, but that's because of the cabana outfit, for sure. Oh yeah, yeah this old thing. Can you like this? Yeah, can you, can you get a, yep, there it is. <laughs> Boom. Well, hello everyone. I'm Stefan, and today we have Nathan Hazard with us from The Real McCoy and the Coconut Club. Um, and it is National Rum Day as we film this. Correct. We didn't plan that actually. No. Because the real reason why I have Nathan here, besides the fact that our friend is having a baby shower today, sure. we wanted to talk about tiki cocktails and where coffee fits within that, that mm -hmm. framework. Nathan, tell us a little bit of the history involved with coffee and tiki. Yeah, it's, it's actually kind of been a part of the tiki fabric since the beginning, you know, right. go all the way back to Don the Beachcomber in 1934. Kona Grog. Kona Grog. But if you go throughout time, uh, there's a lot of sleeper favorites that actually do have coffee as an ingredient. And it's really because it's such a beautiful foil for those rich, kind of pungent, cloying tropical fruit flavors like your passion fruit, uh, your mango, your pineapple. That bitterness and earthiness just brings a beautiful balance to the cocktail. Like today, you know how people use like Amari to kind of balance out right. fruit, right? Or cocktail bitters or something mm -hmm. like that. So our first drink today will be a coffee Mai Tai, which might not be something you think of in daily life, but you're about to when you taste what, you're, what we're about to make. Because so. why not? You know, yeah. it's morning after all. Right, so let's get started. All right, so the morning Mai Tai. Uh, we're gonna start off with one full ounce of lime juice, fresh lime juice. And then a half of an ounce of orgeat. You can make it yourself, or you can also buy it. Uh, we're using Liquid Alchemist, our friends in LA. Orgeat is a traditional tiki ingredient. It's an almond syrup. And then we're gonna use a quarter ounce of dry curacao. Uh, and then we'll use a quarter ounce of Jamaican rum. We're using Dr. Bird, which is really delicious. And then one full ounce of real McCoy five-year, five-year aged rum from Barbados and three quarters of an ounce, Mr. Black Cobra liqueur. We'll add just a few ounces of crushed or pebble ice. You can crush it yourself or you can get creative. We actually bought 10 pounds of this from Sonic Drive-In. They sell it for about four to $5. We'll whip shake. Then we'll pour the cocktail directly into a Mai Tai glass. We'll top with fresh pebble ice to make a little mountain or a snow cone. And then garnish with a half spent lime after juicing and some fresh mint for aromatics. And what you have there is the morning Mai Tai. Well, let's, let's try it out. Yep, that's delicious. It's yeah. really good. It's so like those nice, deep, dark flavors just perfectly complement the classic Mai Tai invented by Trader Vic. Yeah, which uh, we're using the Trader Vic mug. I don't know if you can the Trader Vic glass. Mm -hmm. You can see that. And you've got a Sycamore Den glass going on there. Yep. Mai Tai glasses, 16 ounces of fun. This is the perfect coffee tiki mm -hmm. cocktail to start off with because it's, you get that bracing like lime, um, but then the marriage of all the rums with a little bit of orange and then the coffee kind of ties it all. And of course, almond and coffee right. are a beautiful pair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, pretty. Anytime, anytime you're using coffee, it's really fun to play off of it with some sort of a fat and the, uh, the, nut, the fat from the nuts really do balance out the drink really nicely and add like a nice yeah. mouthfeel to it. Oh, cool. Absolutely. All right, the morning Mai Tai, there it is. Give it a try. Cheers, y'all. Is, oh. it, is it messed up that the flavor of a good pina colada reminds me of childhood? <laughs> I know, it kind of does though. It reminds me of sitting by a pool as a kid. <laughs> but like, I would drink, I mean, the non-alcoholic version, yeah, of course. Yeah. But one of my favorite things in life was flagging down a waitress by a right. pool and asking for a pina colada. Virgin pina colada. Yeah, I mean, it, it's obviously a good one's gonna taste like suntan lotion. Mm -hmm. But it also tastes like, you know, vacation. All right, so for our next cocktail, we're gonna show you how to make a coffee colada, but we're gonna call this the Java Flow. It's a Java Flow. It's a Java Flow. So, to start, we are going to use two ounces of fresh pineapple juice, 
followed by two ounces of coconut cream. We're gonna add a little extra acid here with a half ounce of fresh lime juice. And then we're gonna do a little twist with three quarter ounce uh, Amontillado Sherry. I think Sherry adds a really nice uh, kind of like depth to uh, your traditional pina. Oh, absolutely. And then we're gonna go with an ounce and a half of the real McCoy three year aged rum. Add your ice here and we're gonna give it a nice little blend. And we're looking for kind of a creamy consistency, right? Not too... Yeah, you don't want it too watery, but you also don't want it so chunky you can't get it out of the blender. Right, yeah. You gotta find that happy medium somewhere. Like we're about to do here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, one trick I, I was taught is to look down into the blender and you should see four streams coming together with a nice eye in the middle of the storm. And that's when you have that kind of perfect consistency. Um, and then what we're gonna float today. Well, you know, I thought it wouldn't really be a coffee colada without a little bit of Mr. Black <laughs> cold brew go. coffee liqueur. So we're gonna go ahead and take a little bar spoon here to not make a total mess and just float a little bit right on top. Roughly an ounce of Mr. Black cold brew liqueur. Really as much as you want. Yeah, and then garnish today is gonna be a couple of pineapple fronds and a uh, an orchid because we have them and they're beautiful. Yeah, an orchid yeah. if you got it. Yep. Any we kind of go. edible, any kind of edible flower will also do. Well, Nathan, tell us about this final cocktail we're making today. Uh, this is the Mr. Body High. This is a cocktail that I made inspired by uh, the Mr. Bali High in San Diego, California. Kind of an odd one in the Tiki Cannon, but it fits perfectly into what we're talking about today. It does have pineapple and coffee liqueur at its core. We're gonna have to make one ingredient to make this cocktail, which is your macadamia orgeat, which is a little different than your usual orgeat. Tell us your process. All right, so for the macadamia nut orgeat, very simple, cold process. Get your blender, and you're gonna have some macadamia nuts that you're gonna soak overnight. So you're gonna strain out those macadamia nuts. Put a cup of soaked macadamia nuts in your blender with two cups of filtered or spring water. And you're gonna give that a nice blitz. You're gonna let that go for probably about a minute until it's an incredibly fine kind of a nut milk that you create. Next, you're gonna take a chinois, a cheesecloth or a fine strainer of some kind. You're gonna run this through that to take out most of that particulate. Now, this isn't something that you wanna to toss in the garbage. You can just line it out on a, on a sheet pan uh, at a very low temperature, warm that nut meal, and then you'll have a beautiful macadamia nut flour that you can use for baking, cooking, frying shrimp in. It's a great ingredient to have, right? A great waste ingredient. So from there, you're going to take that beautiful frothy nut milk that you have, and you're gonna do equal part sugar. So you should have, if you started with the cup of nuts and the three cups of water, you should have about uh, a cup of nut milk left. Add a cup of sugar to that and blitz that in your blender for another minute until the sugar is completely dissolved. So what you'll have left is this kind of silky textured syrup. Uh, and what I like to do is add about an ounce of white rum just to help preserve it. That'll uh, last for a couple of weeks in the fridge. Absolutely. Cool. Awesome. Great. So that's the macadamia or that we're gonna to need to make for the Mr. Bodhi High. Great. So in our cocktail shaker, we'll be adding. All right. So to get started, we're going to do two dashes of Angostura bitters. Now we'll add a little kiss of citrus to about a half an ounce of lemon juice. Next, you are going to pour one and a half ounces of fresh pineapple juice. Now we'll add an ounce of our fresh macadamia orja. Uh, kind of an underlying secret ingredient in this cocktail is the banana liqueur. Uh, you only need about a quarter ounce just to get some depth. Uh, then we're gonna do three quarter ounce of our Mr. Black. And 
And then last but not least, an ounce and a half of the Real McCoy five year aged rum. Now we're gonna whip shake this. So we only need a small amount of ice and then we're gonna shake it until we don't hear any more ice. You're just getting a really nice frothy texture here without too much dilution. And then we will pour this into our Mr. Bali High mug here. Or whatever tiki mug you have lying around the house. Whatever. Extra points for coffee mug. And then top it off with some crushed ice, which is why we don't want to over dilute this cocktail. And then I like to do kind of a cut a really nice thin slice of pineapple and just kind of cup your cocktail with that. Slide that into the glass couple pineapple fronds, and then a nice shaving of cinnamon on top. Mr. Bodhi High by Nathan Hazard. That's really fantastic. That's gonna do it for us today. But thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you, Nathan, for being here. This thank has been you. a pleasure, absolutely. Uh, hopefully we've inspired you to make some tiki cocktails with coffee. Uh, this is just three out of many, many recipes. Uh, and stay tuned to the channel. You never know who's gonna show up here at Mr. Black. You never know. But cheers, y'all. Be well, drink great coffee, and be good humans. Thank you so much for watching. Follow us at Mr. Black Spirits on social media. Leave a comment in the comment section down below on a video you might wanna see in the future. We'll be updating every other Friday. And click all over the screen for more great content. Cheers, y'all.